so glad when they really start getting these teeth together because I feel like we're going in reverse. Like, because remember I said they that's pregnant, they had to take these two off and they had to move them over to open the gap some more. Well, to open the start opening the gap back up because the gap wasn't closing right at the top. Like it was closed here, but this teeth here, it's almost like it's clicking. I don't know if you can see it. Like this one, like you can tell if you look at the gap. If you look at the gap, you can see my teeth right here is straight. But this one right there is like leaning. So when the gap is closing, this teeth was going over there and it kept the top of the gap open like a little tiny tiny hole and they had to change the brackets around and get the gap to open up so this is how far it opened i do have a gap here i have a small one here but you can't there's a, you can see i have a little small one here and then here on the side, then there. So, when I went to my last appointment, she said that that is how they was able to tell that I am wearing my elastic how I'm supposed to. I, I have to wear them 24-7. I only take them out when I eat. And she said because the gap opened down, up, up here and down there, that's how she knows that I can wear the elastic like I'm supposed to. So, the reason they put me on the elastic is had a cross pipe over here so they want to get that right this side was straight so i wear a triangle right here and the triangle is so that this side will shift too much and then i end up with a cross pipe over there and then this is the like pull the teeth over here over so and then it kind of like pushed my bottom teeth like out and it's supposed to move the top back. I think that's what it is. But this is the overbite. And so much space is left in the overbite. So I'm just so anxious for it to just like close all the way, gap close all the way, teeth push back. You know, you, when you get these braces and you've been looking at your teeth a certain kind of way so long, you'd be so anxious to see yourself with nicer teeth. 
for me, I was born with the gap. The overbite came from me sucking my finger. So, you know, that damage was done by me for the gap I was born with. And I thought when when I first was going to get the braces, I, a few weeks before I got it, I started feeling like I might miss the gap. So I started having like almost like a separation anxiety before I got the gap, before I got the um the braces. But since I, once I got them on, like, I wasn't even worried about that. And I was sucking my finger up until I got the braces. The day that I got the braces, and I'm about to be 33, y'all. Yes. So, hmm. But I did stop. And I haven't had the urge to suck it. I haven't tried to suck it. Like, and I've had my braces now, but I want to say... I had them six months now. Next month, April will be seven months. So, yeah. I, uh, if any of you guys um want braces and you're worried about them uh, for your certain age, it don't matter, young, old, whatever. You heard the saying, it's better late than never. If you feel like that's a part of you that you want to fix, you know, you have some people that are telling you, oh, I don't see nothing wrong with your teeth. If you feel like there's something wrong, you go ahead and do what you got to do. But, yeah, I have this damn cold. Um, I work at, when I go to work, like, I used to work at that night. Ooh, I'm yawning, child. That sleep coming down on me. But I used to work at night till 4 in the morning, so they changed our schedule for a while because they're switching out departments and different stuff like that. So now I work 4 until 1, and I take a shower before I go to work, and then I end up in the air, and I happen to be outside after I got a shower with no socks on, and that night I ended up with a sore throat, and my nose they called up. But thank God this time, it's not no cold in my chest so far. But I've been working to get this. It gotta go. It gotta go. My mother in law keeps saying it's sinuses, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. And whatever it is, I just need to go away. Because this week is my last week before I go on my vacation. Now, I was supposed to be going back home to Miami, but. I think I'm going to stay home and promote my business. Yes, you guys, check out my website, divinewomen.shop. D-I-V-I-N-E-W-O-M-E-N-S dot shop. Okay, check me out. Right now, I got a sale going on. Everything is on sale. Um, due to me doing the launch, I went ahead and put everything on the website on sale and also I have a special going too where you buy a pair of shades and you get a pair of lashes free. And the lashes are human hair lashes. So make sure you check me out. Follow me on Instagram, Divine Women Boutique. Yes. You guys, it's spring. The weather feels starting getting back warm. Summer around the corner. Baby. You want to get right? Get right with us at the Fine Women's Boutique. So make sure you shop the website. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a cousin, an auntie, a sister, a brother, a grandma, great, 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 great grandma. Tell them, honey. See if they want to buy it for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just back on here. I'm just sitting here watching my um, shop, my little house car. And I wanted to update y'all a little bit before I go to the ortho tomorrow. Yeah, so these are my teeth. Now I'm talking about because I got my teeth pulled here. One thing about me, I was a candy eater, right? I ain't gonna lie. I, don't know, I loved me some chocolate, honey. But, honey, before I went to get my braces, well, before I, a few years ago, I had to get 
a few teeth. It will. And I used to suffer with toothache so bad. And the surgeon I went to back then, he put me to sleep. And when he put me to sleep, I guess he said whatever teeth he felt needed to come out other than the, the main ones he was supposed to be pulling, he was going to pull them too. So he pulled the ones that we discussed him discussed with him about pulling. Plus he pulled whatever ones he saw at the time during the process that needed to be pulled. So that took <laughs> a lot of teeth. And then uh, the year before last, I had to go get, I think, four teeth pulled. Yeah, I want to say I got four pulled. So that's why I got it. This one going up there. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't care. Two, honey, let me tell y'all. I done been shot, and that's a whole other subject, but I done been shot in the drive-by shooting, and I thank God that I'm still here, but let me tell y'all, for me suffering with two things, I was in nowhere near as much pain when I got shot versus when I had them two things. Them two things hurt more than when I got shot. Them two things, how you want to just bang your head in the damn wall. Just tie your teeth to a rope or just a string and just tie it to the door and just, ah, like you want to have it. Just be. <laughs> That's how painful those two things be. If anybody ever suffered with two things, I'm telling you. Y'all know. That's a, that's a different type of pain. I th- that shit worse than labor pain, if you ask me. I'm talking about that. It's a different kind of pain, y'all. But yeah, so I had to get them. That y'all was glad. Pull one, yeah, pull. Just don't make me look snack in the front, baby. Don't pull that from the front, baby. Uh uh. <coughs> so yeah, I still, when I go tomorrow, I'm going to ask them because last time I went, they were talking to me about my tongue. Now, I've been, I have been practicing keeping my tongue like. Can y'all see? It don't touch my feet. And they told me to practice keeping it because I don't want to have to wear that tongue palette thing or whatever it's called. So they were saying that I was doing the tongue thrusting and that was going to prevent my teeth, my overbite from closing all the way. So hopefully they can tell the difference now. I don't know, but I'm going to ask them about it because I've watched a few braces of vlogs and stuff. And I see where they wear a rubber band from here to here to then here to here to help close the overbite and pull the teeth back. So I'm going to also talk to them about that tomorrow. But I'm going to let them do what they do and then see what they see. And then I'm going to, before they start putting my new wires or whatever else they, whatever they're going to do, (coughs) once they get ready to start, I'm going to talk to them about that. You know, because I see, I can't remember who vlog I see, but this one girl, she was saying, like, she was having that same issue, and she happened to have watched a video that was showing where they wore the, the basically like the square around here. So she talked to her uncle about it, and he said, okay, well, then just wear it at night when you sleep. So I would talk to him about it and see, because some orthos, you have to tell them. When you watch other vlog, braces, vlogs, and stuff like that, and you see things that you feel like, hey, this is what my ortho need to be trying. You pay your damn money. Say something. Because I'm sure I'm going to tell them, honey, listen, okay, y'all done reopen this gap. Now I'm going to need y'all to go on the clothes, huh? And let's get this old bike clothes. That's what I'm saying. Because, baby, I was told I had to wear the braces for one year. And then where the um, Invisalign, now they didn't tell me how long I had to wear the Invisalign. I, or did they? I just can't remember. I'm going to have to ask the vet tomorrow too because I can't remember. But, yeah. So, yeah. These are my teeth. And I think tomorrow, this teeth back here, the one right here, I got a feeling in my aunt. This one right here. 
I think they finna put that bed around it or something. Or a bracket or something they finna put on there. Because he did. He told the um the his assistant she could either do it last appointment or she could do it this appointment. So she opted to do it this appointment that's coming tomorrow. So yeah. So y'all know I'ma do a video for y'all. I'ma try to upload it tomorrow because y'all know I take forever to upload. I apologize. But y'all know I'm doing my boutique. If you're in the Augusta area and you use code free shipping in all caps, that will let me know that you want to come in person and pick up your order. So once you uh once your order is processed, I will then email you the um address to the shop. And make sure you use code free shipping if you're in the Augusta area and you want to pick up your item. Make sure you use that. The code free shipping is so that you don't be charged for shipping. If you pay for the shipping, I'm going to ship you your item. So make sure if you're in the Augusta area, you just use code uh, free shipping in all caps. That's the only, That code is only for you if you, you if you live in the Augusta area. That's not for you if you live anywhere else. That does not mean shipping is free if you live anywhere else. That is only for the customers that live in Augusta and they want to put their items from the shop. You put in code free shipping, all caps, and then it's going to say pick up time in the little box at the bottom. You put the time that you want to pick up your item so that I will make sure that I'm at the shop um, so that you can pick up your item. You must bring your ID because I'm not going to give your item to anybody because I need to know that I'm giving the merchandise to the person that paid for the item. So, and if the item was paid for by a friend or a mother, whoever, and they purchased it for you. They need to put your name where it says pick up time. They need to put the name of the person that's going to be picking up the item. And that person needs to bring their ID. So, yes, honey. So, I just want y'all to see my teeth before tomorrow. So, I can give y'all a little update since I go to the ortho tomorrow. Then I'm going to update y'all on the shop. I don't think I posted. No, I did. I posted the, um, the video. Um. The one that I posted before this, so if you haven't seen the little boutique studio, then you can um check that out. I just had posted that I think last week. You can check that out. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, child. Let me pay attention to my little housewives. Can y'all see it? Yes, yeah, so Y'all see, I got my mix right here. I got my mix paper roll. I had, I ain't taking the Theraflu today, but I will. I the last two nights I was taking the Theraflu. I had to drink everything room temperature, so I had to take my whole. It ain't that much for me, but I had to take my whole damn Welch's juice out the refrigerator for Sunday. I was tired of eating, drinking um hot water. <laughs> So, oh, let me tell y'all, I made me some beef soup, some beef soup <laughs> um, with some jalapeno peppers, bell peppers, onion, tomatoes, and cabbage. My brother-in-law made the cabbage for me. It was so good. And I tell y'all, it was so good. And I also made a pot of chicken style spikes to Nicole. <laughs> um, Talking about her chicken head, me more chicken style honey, and that thing was so fine, honey. Yes, honey, I need to eat. When you have a cold, it's best to eat stuff that's hot so it can run out of you. And when I tell y'all, I was eating that chicken sauce and I was eating that, that beef soup, and it was just great. I had to eat holding the, the napkin like, like this because it was just running out, running out, running out. And then my mother in law gave me a look, I think it's called Claritin pill because like I said she keeps saying that I'm having allergies. I don't know about that. I don't never know myself to have an allergy. Maybe I'll be having allergies and I'll be thinking it's a call. I don't damn know. But y'all know how Georgia is funny. I'm talking about Eddie and this flip flop weather like this how Georgia is. Hey uh, this weather you know this shit don't play. And I've been living in Georgia for ten years man. Four to eleven years this year and I still ain't used to the day I'm cold. I'm fine. When I was in Wake Forest, Georgia, it didn't get as cold there. It got cold there, but it didn't get as, you know, the further up north you go, the colder the weather be. 
So now I'm a little further up north from Waycross, but it got cold there, but damn it, it was to it was to the point there where we didn't even had to cut on no heater. We could just come up with our quilt, and we was great. Walk through the house in our long johns, and we was fine. We didn't feel cold. Here, you can have on your quilt. You still cold. Your long john walk through the house. You gonna be like this run through the house, but you got to cut the heater on. Yeah, but we ain't been having the heat on the floor. And we got central heat in the house, but it run by gas, chat. And I ain't never know, heard about that kind of stuff until I moved to Florida, because we were in Florida. If you got central AC, you got central heat. It, how your, your central AC run by electricity, and then your damn, your central heat run by them gas. Child, I ain't know about that stuff. Living in Miami, baby. All we do is you call the heat on, 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 on the AC. From the, that shit wasn't separated. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. We'll be having time for that, honey. We got, we already had our damn feet. Honey, honey, we could have cut these heat on. Ain't nobody gonna be with the bullshit. Because they ain't nothing but an extra bill. So, guess what? We might well plug up these heaters cause, and let them add this shit to the electricity. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, but. Let me tell you, I'm just cheating. I'm just chatting with y'all, chat. So, y'all, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel and to also check out my women's boutique, Divine Women's Boutique on Instagram. And, um, Divine, um, <laughs> look, I'm so ready. I gotta go pee, y'all. I can't even talk. Divine Women's Boutique on Instagram and DivineWomens.shop is the website. So, make sure you check it out, honey. Make sure to subscribe to my website so that you'll be one of the first to get all the exclusive updates. And guess what? Y'all will be the first ones to get the code. Yes, to the same. Y'all have first deals. And y'all will also be the ones that get the better deals. So check it out. Make sure y'all sign up so y'all can become a part of the family. Honey, y'all could grow with me. Y'all can grow with me, because I got great things in store. This is not just the business that I'm just doing this to do. This is what my heart desires. I'm trying to do this longevity. I'm trying to have a chain of boutique, along with some other businesses, honey. Y'all think big, baby. And whatever you put your mind to and your heart to, you can do it. So don't give up. And don't let anybody tell you you can't. Don't let anybody tell you you need $10,000 a spot, whatever. You got people that's telling they... Giving you their testimonies, let you know they started with five hundred. They let they started with their last eight hundred dollars. Then listen, follow the people that's really out here making moves. They got receipts for the moves that they making. Not the people that's doing fraud and all that kind of stuff. The people that they may used to do fraud, but they changed their life around and now they they making major moves and they got real receipts for what the fuck they doing. Because everybody got a pay. Yeah, I know that, but. Follow somebody that's really making moves and that really inspire others to be great and want to see other people succeed. Not the ones that they want everybody else to vote for them to get to the top, but then they looking down on, on the same people who vote for them to get to the top. Mm -mm. Not the frauds. Not the frauds that's pretending. Not not all not the, the ones that are say. Bitch, I'm not going to spend no $5,000 on no bag knowing that I ain't even got $5,000 in my motherfucking bank account. Bitch, y'all know somebody sell a replica? I like the women that's going to keep it real. Okay? For real, for real. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get out of here, chair. I haven't been on live long enough, chair. Because, honey, I don't know what is going on. They on a whole nother scene. Look at Eva, y'all. And they say, tell my evil bro. That's another topic, chat. I got to talk to y'all about it. <clears throat> I have to see some real receipts for that. You know what I hate with people, with, with black people especially? When they get mad, they start trying to tell business. Or oh, you got the ones that just lie just because they mad. I'm not running with no damn tea. 
that a bitch ex friend give it and ain't giving no receipts to go along with it. All that he say, she said, I ain't the one. I need real paperwork. I need real receipts. Not hearsay. And then the the listening ear running telling the story. I'm not gonna give no hypeness to no tea that's being given without no damn receipts on it. Sorry, not I. <laughs> so let me go because I need to put my feet on. I need to go. I need to pee pee. So I'll check y'all out later. Oh, another time because I ain't getting back on here. But see y'all later. See, I told you I'll give it to y'all raw with my with my little scarf on and everything. <laughs>